everyone and welcome to Training Tuesday for December 26, 2023. I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary and this week we're going to start with Sun Shower. She is a jaguar carpet python that is in our Sanctuary for Life program. She has severe neurological disease and she actually had to be fed through a stomach tube for a whole year because for a period of time she was displaying neurologic dysphagia. However, now she's able to eat on her own. She's always been extremely smart and target training has helped her control her body movements a little bit better. She's going through a period right now where she isn't having many muscle spasms or uncontrolled corkscrewing. So this is a good period in her life. Um, her neurologic symptoms seem to wax and wane. And so as a consequence of that, we make sure that she is in a very safe and simple enclosure that still has environmental stimulation and yet it isn't too complicated that if she's going through a bad period, she could fall or get hurt. Now we're going to go on to a photo essay of TC's target training session yesterday. And that is at the request of one of my clients who's going to use some of these photos in a project that they are doing. So I realize that I have tons and tons of video of TC target training, but hardly any photos. So this is a step-by-step -step photo essay of him going through the steps of exiting his enclosure and shifting out onto a station. And what I'm doing here is guiding him with the target towards the station. And at first, I just want him to move over his enclosure threshold towards the station. And now I'm asking him to move up because I want him actually to come up and over that middle level or the second level of the station. And now I'm guiding him between the legs because I don't want him to go around the legs. I want him to go through the middle of the station and out the other side. So I am incrementally guiding him to do that by using the target. I'm allowing him to slowly follow that target. This is my spectator who fell asleep during the session. Anyway, I'm asking TC to slowly follow this target through the middle of the station. And once he gets there, I'm asking him then to turn to his left or to my right. And so now he is mostly out of his enclosure. His body is across the station and I'm asking him to turn the front part of his body at a right angle. Once he's done that, that's the end of the behavior. That's all I want from him. So I'm signaling him by changing the orientation of the target from vertical to horizontal and asking him to pause there and stop the behavior and wait for delivery of reinforcement. In this case, I'm using a 50 gram Reptilink. I believe it's one of the Mega Blends. So there's a whole bunch of different feeder products in it. And then I'm just gonna leave him on this station to eat. And I did do a second repetition with him after he was done eating this Reptilink. We did another target training session. I did not film that one. I didn't take photographs of it. He did so well during this one that I didn't feel like I needed to get any more photos. I'm pretty sure that my client is gonna be able to use these. So you may see these in the future someplace else. And again, this is TC, that is short for Tau Seti. He is a super dwarf reticulated python that was produced by Garrett Hartle at Reach Out Reptiles. He arrived here in 2019, so he's been target training and been with us for quite a while. We are going to finish up with my Morelia Bradley number one, and I'm always telling you guys to make sure the snake sees the target. So I am standing off to her right at more than a right angle away from where the target is, and she is looking at me. She does not even see the target until just now. You should have been able to tell as soon as she saw the target because her head suddenly turned from where it was looking straight ahead over to the target. And once she did that, I was really happy with that behavior because it meant instead of paying attention directly to me, she was actually orienting towards and engaging with the target. And that is what I reinforced her for. Number one is a 2019 Morelia Bradley that was produced by Owen McIntyre at Rogue Reptiles. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, please remember to always be kind and love your animals.